and I decided to come here and just take some photos and I got myself stuck here. Honestly, after traveling on a scooter for more than two years, I'm not sure if I can return to backpacking anymore. Why? Here are the reasons why I love motorcycle travel. Reason number one, riding motorcycle itself is super fun. With the twist of the throttle, you can feel the adrenaline rushing as you cruise down the highway. Okay, maybe except when riding a small bike like mine. You will probably have more fun watching the vehicles overtaking you. Number two, you can carry more things without tiring yourself out. Let's wash uh, my clothes. I carried two years of my life on my scooter. Camping gears, winter wares, tools, you name it. And I can because I have an engine to lug them around. Reason number three is my favourite of all, the freedom and flexibility. Say bye-bye to bus and train schedule, you can travel at your own time and own target. You can set up and stop whenever, wherever you feel like, or even squeeze out time for an adventurous detour. Oh, you call this road la. You call this road la. You call this road la. You call this a road? <sighs> it's a nice road. Yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Reason number four, with the motorcycle, the off-beaten tracks are more accessible. There are places where public transportations do not reach, or you have to hire a driver to get you there at a cost. Don't look down! Some of the most interesting places are also the ones that are most difficult to reach. Reason number five, you have a tool for a quick escape. If you're travelling by bus or taxi, it may be difficult to get out of unwanted situations. With a motorcycle, you can roll your way out of ferocious dog chasing you or even creepy men asking for sex. What? What the f is that? Number six, you get to engage with people a lot. An overloaded motorcycle will spark the curiosity of strangers and get conversations going. Sometimes, the conversation can lead to an invitation for a meal or even to someone's home. Huh? Are you home? Your home? Number seven, the motorcycling community everywhere are very close knitted. There's something about riding motorcycle that brings people together. In most countries, local motorcycle clubs are always happy to extend a helping hand to a guest biker. Ah, I'll see you again. Number eight, it's 100% sensory indulgence. Whether it is hot, cold, raining, snowing, hailing, you feel all of this. Instead of viewing the landscape from behind a screen, you are actually part of it. As they said, four wheels move the body, two wheels move the soul. But to give a realistic view on motorcycle travel, I have to share with you the downsides of it as well. Besides weather elements, you are also exposed to dangers in the traffic. Unfamiliar traffic culture and road conditions may put you at higher risk of accident. <coughs> Downside number two, motorcycle travel involve a higher startup cost. You need to spend a big sum on motorcycle, accessories and protective gears. Downside number three, there may be extra paperwork involved to bring your motorcycle into a foreign country. You need to deal with vehicle import permits and insurance. In some countries, independent travel with foreign vehicle is not allowed. Thus, you must engage a guide to cross the country. Entry procedures into a country by land and by flight can be different. So it is important to do your research to avoid any hiccups at the border. Downside number four, unlike traveling by bus or train, you do not get to rest while on the move. And since you'll be riding long distance and long hours, it is important to get enough rest so that you can focus on the road. Downside number five, if the road ends for any reason, you may need to ship the motorcycle out of the country, and that may cost more than a passenger flight ticket. Downside number six, you have to deal with maintenance and repair. With freedom comes with responsibility. You have to ensure that the motorcycle is in good running condition. And if you have a breakdown, communication and sourcing for parts in foreign land can be challenging. That's about it. I kind of feel handicapped whenever I'm abroad without a vehicle of my own. So, let me know, would you consider travelling by a motorcycle? Is there anything else that you'd like to know about motorcycle travel? Do drop a comment below. Remember to like or subscribe to The Wandering Wasp for more travel stories and tips. Thank you very much for watching!